What's up? How's it going? Welcome, everybody. Uh, I hope that this live stream finds you well. I hope that you're doing great and that you're having a fantastic weekend so far. I don't know if you can hear my guitar at all through my mic here. Chat, tell me if you can hear it if I don't attach it to my to my guitar. Does it sound like nothing? What does it sound like? Perfect, cool, these mics are great. I like that it's not just like a uh, vocal isolate. Um, so, oh shit, I've got coffee going here. I'm, I'm making myself a cup of coffee. It's been a fucking Hell of a day, I tell you what, and I'm going to show you around here in just a sec. That's why I wanted to do a bit of an earlier stream because, uh, you know, we want a little bit of daylight. Oh, shit, where's my cup? There it is. So that y'all can see the official Lupercalia party grounds and uh, how it's going so far. I'm really excited to, uh, to share with you guys. But, uh, yeah, first I'm gonna make my little, oh shit, I don't need this cup, I'm using this cool ass cup, this one's, this can stay, this can keep being my Kratom cup, this is the coffee cup, I just washed that out, that's been sitting in, uh, in what used to be the bunkhouse at the library for, like, years and years and years, and it belonged to my buddy, he left it there a long ass time ago, so I've, uh, Finally reclaimed it. And I got some fucking... I got this at the discount store. Because it's out of season now. It's the pumpkin chai coffee. Woo, shit. And it's strong. So I'm excited. I'm going to make it a little weak this time. Usually I make my coffee really fucking strong. But uh, I don't need to with this shit. Alright. So anyway. While that's brewing. I'm going to take y'all outside for a minute. Um, my phone didn't get much of a charge before I went live today because I got caught up doing a bunch of other projects and whatnot. Um, so I, I neglected to charge my phone for as long as I should have. And, uh, so it's plugged in right now, but I'm going to just, uh, I'm going to just unplug it for just a sec so I can take you around. But flip this over. Can we do that? Sweet. How nice. Fuck yeah. Lupercalia party grounds. It's been nice so far. I've been chilling here since last night. All right. I'm gonna let that do its thing for a little bit here. Oh, and eat some candy. No, I want, I want this. There we go. All right. What's shit? Hey pup, you stay, okay? Actually, you know what? You can come out. That's fine. Come on out. Come on out, dingus. Okay, this is my barter area. I've got a bunch of shit out. I've already got one other person posted up here, and we're going to be doing a dab lounge later and karaoke tonight. Obviously, it's not Lupercalia yet. The event, like, officially occurs on the 14th and the 15th. But I'm out here pre-gaming and uh, fucking got my barter shit out all weekend. So hopefully we'll manifest some folks over here to come and get my stuff. I'm really, like, at this point, I'm, I'm barely charging for any of it. Just, like, fucking make offer because I, I need to clear shit out. And I'm going to keep digging deeper. I haven't started cleaning out my bus or my car my car is pretty dialed in but my bus has definitely more things that i can comb through and purge so uh as i continue the weird little treasures that i dig out are gonna get like cooler and cooler anyway 
It's a gorgeous day. You can see a little bit of rain on the horizon over there, but it's passing us. It's on the other side of the Salton Sea there, which is what it typically does. There is some more rain over there. Um, we got a little sprinkle earlier today. The pillars are cool. They are uh, part of these telephone lines, these power lines that go to some of the agricultural properties out that way. Same with these ones. This is like pretty interesting sight seeing power lines out here in slabs. So yeah, these are the, this is the furthest the power lines come. Um, but yeah, it really does add to the ambiance, doesn't it? I don't know why, but I just, it just feels right. I just, I don't know. Oh yeah, and we got the uh, fucking, we already got help getting some wood uh, collected here too. And Satan really wants me to throw the ball. Oh yeah, and I made a little sign on the road here. Hey Bubba, you're so cute. Look at you. Look at you little dog. There's the sign so people know where to turn in. There's Salvation Mountain. Very nice. Yeah, and there's like a little pathway into here. Yeah. Just trying to facilitate a group camp situation. All right. Um, and events throughout the week and gathering supplies and just having a good time. Maybe once more people join in, um, We'll have others that don't know about the party stop in and check it out and see what's going on. Anyway, that's what I got going on right now. Made another fucking sign, set up camp. Um, shit. What all did I do? Did a bunch of stuff today. Anyway, I'm probably going to set up a little kava bar here later this week as well. I've got a fuck ton of nice um, like heritage grown kava and I just got a bunch of strainer bags so I'm really excited to uh, to do that. Be nice to have like a kava hot spring social or something. Um, yeah, events all week. I'm here to fucking have fun and enjoy myself and so is Satan. Yeah, I know what you want. Hold on. I'm going to throw the ball for Satan a couple times just because I said it. Oh, look, Micah put fucking googly eyes on my bus. I mean, I wonder who could have done that. Hmm. Oh, shit. All right, Satan. You want to throw? You want the ball? Do you want this? Do you want this? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Corn clearance sale. Yeah, that's right. Just make an offer. Like, I got a bunch of nice ass stuff, and I'll fucking. Yeah, I'll fucking give it to you however, like, whatever you got. Barter, too. I love bartering. I'm doing a live stream, just to let you know. Yeah. Do you mind getting on camera? You want to wave? Hey! <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, we're already fucking putting some shit together. I'm stoked for karaoke tonight. Last week, karaoke was absolutely super fucking fun and totally unexpected. You know, people out here are really, really hungry for a party. And there's there's really good establishments and events and weekly things. But, like, uh, this season there's really been um, not as much of a fucking rager vibe as, pe like, people are accustomed to out here. So I think just, like going off this week would be really good and wholesome for everybody. And um, there's the BMX Jam this weekend as well, which is going to be super sick, and also a rave not too far from 
Lupercalia party grounds. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be uh, kind of an event-packed week. I've got two musical acts for sure confirmed um, and definitely a lot of other interest. So, I don't know. I guess we'll... Uh, guess we'll see throughout the week but I'm I'm gonna be putting up a flyer by the end of the day for at least the confirmed stuff that we're gonna do oh and uh, Fleur is gonna be doing a tarot card meetup uh, or like a Skillshare earlier uh, in the day on the 14th she'll be teaching people how to read tarot which I think is cool I want to be there for that for sure because uh, Fleur is definitely a wealth of knowledge. <laughs> this is just like how my friend started Wasteland Weekend. That's cool, man. Fuck yeah. You know, don't you don't let your dreams just be dreams. We can have we can have good things. I tell you what. And it just grew and grew. Fuck yeah. You know, sometimes all it takes is like just planting a seed and then people are like, oh hey, that that was really fun. That that's a thing now, and then it's a thing. Good to see you, Corn. Would love to go to your Lupercalia party and take some supplies. Fuck yeah! Well, if you can't make it, you can always throw down. Um, I'm gonna just like shamelessly segue over to uh, the links in the description. There's PayPal, Venmo, and Cash App. If you want to drop a dono for uh, party supplies, they will go to good use. For the community and uh yeah if you can make it here bring firewood and uh cool stuff things to play with and stuff that makes big noise like speakers and things that explode and, i don't know whatever just bring all the good things and put them in a pile <laughs> nothing ever happened by wondering if it wouldn't succeed that's right you know and it's like i've i've thrown a lot of parties in the past most of them go like go over like really well and every now and then you get one that's not quite not quite aligned I guess because in order to throw a decent party you really need to kind of read the vibe like what what people are wanting to do and whether you're competing with another party or you know there's so many factors but um for the most part, my parties have been fucking great. But every now and then you end up at one, you end up throwing one or whatever where like, for some reason, nobody shows. And uh, that's, that's just how it is, you know? You win some, you lose some. And uh, so the way that I kinda, the way that I kind of operate when I'm doing parties and stuff, it's like, I'm going to come and do what I'm going to do regardless of if anybody else shows up. I'm going to fucking I'm gonna throw down and have fun, even if it's just me. And I think because of that attitude, that's why most of the parties that I've facilitated have uh, gone over really well. Because, you know, if you're afraid of failure, people can kind of smell that, you know. And uh, then they're like, oh, why is this person trying so hard? <laughs> but, yeah, just a little little advice. I don't know if anybody threw down. I don't see any notifications. But uh, some folks did throw down yesterday during the stream and afterwards. So thank you all so much. Really do appreciate it. Satan, you are a baby. All right, kick down now. That's right. That's fucking right. Get down with the kick down. I'm gonna go roll a smoke. Come on, Satan. Whoops. Oh, I almost forgot my Lacroix. Yeah, I got 
a bunch of nice stuff over here. I, oh, my coffee, fuck. Forgot I was brewing coffee. I really need that, especially with karaoke coming up later tonight. And I'm already kind of, I'm not burnt out. I'm just like, man, I had a fucking full ass day. Cheers, chat. You like my cool guy? That's a cool guy. Mm. Oh, so good. Fuck yeah. Drink water, pup. Oh, do you need to refill? Here, I got you, bub. Here, I got you, sweetie. You drink so much water. That's so good, Satan. Hell yeah. Here you go, Bubba. Good girl. Hell yeah. Let's take a look. Kira Weidman says, welcome. Aw, oh, hell yeah. What a baller. Who's going to be the first? Last summer, I promoted a high ropes course for my tiny island community for months. Nobody showed day of that I was hanging with. I met a whole new circle of friends from the people that did. For real. Yeah, it's, it's like you really, uh, you really learn a lot about who's showing up to community events, too. It's, uh, it's really eye-opening because some people just want to be part of a scene for like the social aspect of it. And other people are like really in it for the community building. Oh, my hair's getting all fucking weird. Okay. Whatever. Whatever. That's just how it is. Um, yeah, so it's just, like, really revealing of people and, like, who's down for what. And, uh, yeah. Who's, uh, who's just in it for the popularity contest and who wants to be at the biggest thing. Um, that's, that's fine. They're, you know, they're allowed to do that, but I'm just saying it, uh, it shows you a lot about who folks are and what their motivations are. <laughs> oh, I'm, love you too, Tara. And love y'all, chat. Tiana, kick down. Fuck yeah. I'm down for what? Down for Lupercalia madness. That's what it is. So I was reading up on Lupercalia and it's like, the the lore is super weird, but basically it's it was um, held at this cave where they believed that Remus and Romulus, like the original Roman guys or something, um, were nursed back to health by suckling on the she wolf's teat, and like because of that. The Roman Empire was like it, it emerged or something. Um, it's super weird and like just kind of surrounded on a lot of mystery. So that's why it's kind of fun because like they, they ended up outlawing it because people were sacrificing goats and dogs or so they say. But like the history of it is so goddamn sparse that I'm kind of uh, skeptical of that anyway because it's like you know history is written by the the winners or the people that that own the rights to the history books rather uh, which of course was the Roman Empire so it's like we don't really know um, because they could have just made up the Romulus and Remus shit to make it um, like patriotic or something a a like after they had appropriated it from its heathen roots I really don't know I don't think anybody does. Uh, that's that's one of the things about it. So I think it's kind of neat. Maybe in the future there will be more uh, historical artifacts or writings discovered about it, or maybe it's lost to time. It doesn't matter because, uh, yeah, 
we're fucking gonna try it. <laughs> mm. I sent Cash App. Enjoy your day. Hoping to see you soon. Thank you so much, Keisha. I really appreciate it. Uh, appreciate your donation. I work in my car, smoke a joint. Fuck yeah. I'm gonna smoke a cigarette. I have not had a cigarette all day. And I really honestly don't even like necessarily care to smoke a cigarette like when I did the other day I just took a few drags off of it and I was just like this is really not doing it for me so I don't know it's 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 starting to not taste good I think it's because my brain is just like trying to tell me that there's no point in smoking cigarettes anymore and it's just tired of the flavor my brain's like I'm bored Nicotine ain't doing it for me anymore. Then I'm going to try and smoke one anyway. See if it tastes better now. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. I just like... I just have fucking cycles with... With tobacco. Some days... It's like the best thing ever. And then other days I'm just like... Why do I even fucking smoke these damn things? Like, it's not even good. It just tastes like fucking... Tastes like an ashtray. But sometimes it's like, oh yeah, I never want to stop smoking ever. Usually the former though. It's the moon. Yeah, I blame the moon. <laughs> what is the moon phase right now? Chat, tell me what the moon phase is. I'm going to treat y'all like fucking uh, analog organic Alexa. Your, your collective hive mind uh use it to tell me things because I don't do that Alexa shit. I don't want fucking Google having a uh, a fucking consent I'm not gonna consent to Google bugging my fucking house or my bus or whatever the fuck. New moon I think that's sick. That's the perfect okay. Yep, see there you go. My fucking witchcraft is on point, baby. Hmm. Ugh. <laughs> it's probably around, yeah, getting to be there. I think it was, like, getting pretty close, actually. My info comes from a meme I saw today. <laughs> Aquarius, new moon. It's a blue moon. Cool. See, we've got... That's where the chat hive mind is way better than Alexa because we've got a bunch of different, like, random-ass sources, not just, like, the top accepted clinical response or, like, textbook response. We got, like, all these people being, like, oh, it's a blue moon. It's a new moon. It's a... I saw a meme about it, like, I, I don't know, it's a little bit more, it's more uh, organic, that's why organic is so cool, that's why AI and computers can't replace us, until they learn how to be organic, in which case, they'll be replacing themselves, so, we don't have to be afraid of AI, we just have to be afraid of humans misusing it, because humans are malicious, whereas AI, I don't think is capable of malice, um, yet. God help us when they do become capable of that. Waning Crescent. Okay, maybe y'all are wrong. Chinese New Year of the Dragon. Is it? Okay, somebody needs to confirm if it is indeed the Chinese New Year of Dragon. Because that would be really fucking sick. Because I'm a dragon in Chinese uh, astrology. So that would be like extra tasty. Yes, Captain says Year of Dragon. Today is actually the Lunar New Year. Holy fuck. That just, uh, okay, cool. See, I've been just following, like, the will of the universe to do things. So I guess it's just, like, kind of making it do do what it do. That's, uh, that's pretty cool. All right, see, that's what happens when you just kind of go with the, the energy push of the world. That's why I try to keep myself kind of free to just like manifest things. We're having a new year, lunar new year party tomorrow. Sick. That's cool. Well, happy lunar new year and happy year of the dragon. It is my year. Fuck yeah. It's my time, bitch. Get ready because because uh, I'm coming. Uh, I'm coming hard for for dragons. I don't know. Whatever. Take that to the fucking bank and smoke it, all right? 
sweet. I'm I'm kind of uh, kind of stoked. That's nice. <laughs> Mardi Gras, Ash Wednesday on Valentine's Day. Cool. That's great because then it'll be like. Uh, Actually, yeah, I, I was reading that too. Like, the timing is really fucking excellent. Um, like, I was saying about, like, reading the vibe for party throwing. Like, who the fuck throws a party like this on a Wednesday, right? Um, but that just was the... I don't know. I just felt strongly about it in my, in my heart of hearts. My, my cold, black, dead, chaotic heart. I'm gonna have to say my prayers tonight do some type of, uh, I don't know, some type of ritual. That's just delightful. It's an orgy of holidays. Yes. And that's also funny because Lupercalia is an orgy holiday. Fun, fun times. That's, uh, that's also what it was known as. Orgy season. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Cheers to that, you fucking reprobates. It's gonna be a fun week. I wanna suck on the she wolf's teats. What are you giving up for Lent? Uh... Celibacy. <laughs> Just kidding, I'm not celibate. Um, I'm gonna give up wearing pants for Lent and just not wear pants. Uh huh. Teats. <laughs> Giving up sugar. That's cool. Probably give up smoking, I guess. I don't know. I'm doing really good so far. I like lit this and took a couple hits and then forgot about it and now it's out. I feel like most of the time that I have a cigarette in my mouth, I'm just like holding it there as like a prop. Uh. <coughs> <coughs> Meat. Corn is going trad vegan. Oh no. I, I don't know if I could do that. Well, yeah, I could. I, I actually have before for like two weeks. It was, uh, I went like raw vegan for almost, actually like almost four weeks at one point. It was all right. I felt really good, actually. I wouldn't do that forever, but for a couple of weeks for like a meat detox, I sure would do it again. Dude, or you gave up the booze. You're allowed a year before another sacrifice. Hey, there we go. Yeah, plus it's my year. It's dragon year. I can do whatever the fuck I want, and you all have to love me anyway. You can kick your kneecaps, and you have to be like, thank you, Cordelius. I love you. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm not going to do that. Not a goat sacrifice. Why? We can go buy a goat. There's, goat, there's a goat farm out here, and um, that's what they're for. It's like $100 for a regular size goat, and it's like $200 for a big old goat. And uh, yeah, a number of years ago, my friend Baloo got a goat and a pig and cooked them in like, uh, what is it called? Like when you dig the pit. Yeah, he pig cooked them. They were great. He even rented a fucking backhoe to dig out these big ass holes to, to cook these fucking things in. It's pretty sweet. I don't remember who I sold my fucking goat skin hat to, but that's, uh, that was that goat. Stay away from my kneecaps. Oh, I'm coming for your kneecaps, Aaron. You gotta come over here. You gotta come over here real close, within kicking distance. Year of the dragon, baby! Yeah! Fuck yeah! Hail! Discovered you a few months back. Love your internal monologues that you share with the world. <laughs> Love your kindness and your honesty and humility. Thanks. I actually don't have internal mon monologues. Like when I'm sitting on my own uh, thinking really hard, like I, I know there was like a meme that was going around where it's like, wait, you don't have an inner monologue. There's people out there wandering around that like don't hear a little like narrator voice in their head all the time. I'm one of those people. I really don't. Um, I think in like abstract like feelings and ideas and like um, visualizations and spider graphs and shit like that. Um, but yeah, I don't have like an internal monologuer. I have an external monologue, which is what you watch here on my live streams. So yeah, that's, uh, that's why I struggle a lot too and say like, um, and just kind of stare off into the distance a lot. Cause I have to find the words 
to express the um, analogous, the, the fucking, uh, the misty thoughts and ideas in my brain. Mm. Ahoy, abscond. What's up? So if, if any of you are uh, in chat today and you have never said hey to chat before, like, you know, you're not a regular maybe or you haven't stopped in in a while, feel free to come in, into the chat here and say hi. Let people know that you're here. We'd love to, love to meet you. Yep, external monologue. Yeah, the external monologue is for all of you and like people around that are interested in my thought process. But that's also why I ramble because at the time that I'm having the external monologue, I'm already having like three main thought processes to follow that up or like directions that I can go with that. So I kind of just forget that I'm talking for a second and then have to catch up to those ideas and try to round or like round it in or rein it in and make it all connect. But yeah. That's uh so yeah, that's a little inside peek into a chaotic brain case. My Wi-Fi is balls gotta log off. All the best dragons. Oh man. Hopefully, uh hopefully I have a good good evening. Shit. Yeah, I'm over this cigarette. I fucking took a few drags and I'm like kinda just over it. I don't even It doesn't even taste like the same anymore. I don't know what it is. My brain's just like, nah, I'm not into that anymore. Fucking crazy. I think Yeah, I don't know. I think it just like reprogrammed my fucking headspace the other night. That's cool. I'm gonna do a dab though, because that is definitely something that I want. Uh, I don't really know. Oh, I was hoping that this stand would work on my. I might uh, laundry chest, but it's not going to, so that's fine. And I forget where my other fucking tripod went. I'm sure it's literally like within arm's reach here, but I don't really feel like looking for it. Satan, you're so cute. Oh yeah, I gotta get Satan a treat after this dab. Because she's been a really, really good girl today. She's been the best. Oh, my tripod is literally right next to me. Okay, hold on. Yeah, you can see it on the camera. It's like right here. <laughs> nice. Why didn't you tell me that my camera, my fucking tripod was literally right next to me? Shameful. Just kidding. There we go. Yeah, I'm super stoked for karaoke tonight. That was so fun last weekend. And it's nice that it's out here because it's not, not way out of the way. And that way there's nobody that might want to drunk drive all the way back to slabs from Bombay or something. Not like, you know, not like anybody would be unsafe. But sometimes, you know, I mean... I don't know everybody that would want to go, but people have been trying to make that a thing, and it's just like so fucking, so far out of the way. It's a lot of fun though. Bombay Beach um, um, karaoke is totally fucking sick, and I love uh, I love going over there. And I just want to do a big shout out to all the folks over at um, the fucking ski inn. Ski Inn is fucking, it's a really cool hangout spot. So if you're in the area, definitely stop in. They have good food. Uh, one of our own locals here in Slabs makes the food most of the time. And he's a great cook. Amazing. Uh, yeah, so they got great food. Drinks that are not crazy expensive. The atmosphere is really, really nice. Um, yeah, definitely no shade to uh, Ski Inn by any means. It's just uh, a little easier for us sometimes to rally when it's not so uh, out of the way. There we go. Oh, little dog. Yeah, I'll get you some, nope, look out pup. 
I'll get you a nice treat, baby. I promise. Hold on. God bless California. <laughs> All right. Hey, baby. My dirty ass floor. I need. I was supposed to be fucking sweeping and shaking out my carpets today, but that really didn't happen. So I'm just wearing my damn shoes in here now. These are my slip-ons. They're not like as nasty as my boots, but <laughs> you know. But anyway, I will definitely be doing that next. Satan will not let you forget. No, no, she won't. She will not let me forget. Hey, back up, back up, back up. Back up, hey. Kick it. Do you want this? Here. Good girl. Oh, baby. I was gonna clean my fucking bus, but then I got high. Yeah, that's not, that's not what happened. Now I'm high. But uh, I wasn't until just then. Yeah, now I'm high. Fuck. Satan loves a pork hide. I'm so glad that she likes these because they do actually last um, a lot longer than a lot of treats that I give her. Look at that baby. Having fun with the song. I know, I'm just clarifying. <laughs> That's, uh, yeah. I got into a bunch of other shit. And definitely tomorrow, bright and early, I'm going to be fucking taking out... I'm, I think I'm going to take everything out of my bus, honestly, and sweep it all out again and comb through everything and uh, set out all of the other things that I don't want in the bus anymore. All of the stuff in in my main areas here, though, is like stuff that I actually use. Uh, I, I even just went through my clothes again and pitched a bunch of my stuff and it's in that uh, that tub out there so if you want some fucking corn swag that's where you get it. Look at this nice space. There's, uh, there's definitely a few things in the back that I could probably get rid of and I still have this fucking $2,000 ski jacket. I was gonna set up a, an account on Grailed or something, see if I can sell it. But if any of y'all know how the fuck to sell an expensive designer ski jacket, please let me know. Um, Micah showed me a couple of websites. But I don't, yeah, I guess I'll fucking get on that. I need to make that more of a priority than I have. I just don't understand that kind of thing, so I'm just like, I don't really know what to do about that. I don't understand designer ski jackets and apps for people that buy designer ski jackets. I really I have no idea. Still have the corn swag. Oh, hell yeah. I know you do, dude. I know you got it. I hope, um, I hope you think about doing some um, repairs on it. Because, yeah, you're, uh, you're pretty skilled at sewing. I think you could do it. Or maybe you can commission me to do it. Damn, it's gorgeous out. Emily says I have comics work to do, but I don't want to do it. Like what? Who's making you do comics work? Also, you do I, I think you do want to do it. I think I think that you just don't like the idea of committing that time to doing comics work. But you definitely do want to do it, otherwise you wouldn't be making yourself do it. But if it's stressing you out, then just forget about it. Come back to it when it's not stressing, stressing you out. Hmm. We got some golden hour lighting right now. My fucking face looks great in this lighting. Phew, god damn. Look at that handsome bastard. Shipping stuff to people, the busy work shit. I see, I see. Mm-hmm. 
Well, don't think about it too hard. Just get her done. I always get stressed out about that kind of shit too. Oh man, look at that. Sun's peeking through those fucking rain clouds over there. You can see a little bit of the reflection from the salt and sea. You see that little strip of water there? That's nice. That would take away from the badassery. Oh, it's corn daddy. No way, man. My philosophy is all about fucking using stuff. Nothing is sacred. Fucking rock that thing. Tear it up. Put some ratchet ass fucking stitches in there. And make it look gnarly as hell. That's the whole point. What good is it if it's not getting used? Yeah, it's gorgeous out here. Nothing like golden hour. That's right. Man, I got some stickers today, too, from, or yesterday from Dave. Uh, I'm going to put up some stickers in here. Got some nice stickers. Just collecting them. Every time I put more up here, I'm like, well, these are really great, but I'm also, like, trying to sell my bus, and... <laughs> So eventually, I'm going to have to say bye-bye to all of these. But that's kind of how life is anyway. All good things come to an end. Isn't that right, Satan? Just like your pork hole. Pork roll. Your pork hole. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Wait, where'd my coffee go? There it is. That's Satan's little bed there. And more extra shit. Pretty much all of that is stuff that I want to keep, though. There's a few things that I'm like, I don't really know what I'm going to do with this. I put my favorite stickers on magnetic backs. That's a smart idea, but I've, I've just not had those, and... I don't know. It's like uh, when you get new stuff, it's a whole new process of putting more cool stickers and shit on it. <laughs> Pork hole. Pork roll hole. Damn, yeah. My brain is made of noodles. Mmm. Damn. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to score a load of firewood before it gets too dark, but I did just get a new headlamp in the mail, so maybe I can cut some firewood. I'm hoping that people will just bring a stack of firewood over here tonight. I put out the word that they should, but uh, I don't know. I guess we'll see. There's... Um, there is a pretty good stack there. It's not like fat ass firewood. Um, but shit, that'll burn. All it would really take is uh, some rotted fucking wood or something that from like the library scrap pile has a bunch of dry rotted wood that I can totally uh, swoop up and burn. I found someone who got rid of their company magnet names from their work trucks. That's cool. Hell yeah, dude. I like that. That's a great idea. Oh my goodness. I'm fucking stoned. Uh, hell yeah. Lunar New Year. Year of the Dragon. What? What a nice fucking development. <laughs> oh boy. <coughs> yeah, now now my brain is dumb as hell. I think I'm going to do some kratom too cuz uh that sounds nice. Ooh.
Yo, 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 what's up, Detox Proxy? Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, now I'm stoned and I can't remember what I'm trying to think of. Damn it, don't do drugs, kids. Makes your brain not brain good. Hmm. Oh, and I don't know if I like the fucking taste of this at all, actually. Oh, it's because I left some fucking collagen in there. If I left collagen in my cup a little bit and it smells a little weird, is that okay? Is it going to make me sick? We can just find out for science. I'm just going to, I'm just going to. So I know this is gross. Judge me harshly. I don't give a fuck. But I've been putting some collagen in with my kratom. At least my evening kratom. Um, it doesn't make it taste shittier or better. But for some reason it makes the kratom way easier to get down. Because it like gives it something to bind to. And it like kind of mellows out the flavor, makes it less chalky, makes it mix better, and it doesn't have, um, it doesn't have, I don't know, whatever, it doesn't have any, like, sort of negative effect on it, I don't know, yeah, it just kind of makes it go down easier, and it's good for you, ooh, that's a lot of kratom. All right, by the end of the stream, I'm going to be semi-nonverbal, so um, fuck you, get over it, because I'm not putting that Kratom back in here, and I'm doing karaoke tonight, so I'm, I'm allowed to be a little turnt, just a little bit. You can't really get, I mean, you can get pretty turnt on Kratom, I guess, um, but mostly you'll just feel nauseous and want to go to sleep. It didn't pass the smell test. Oh, yeah, no, probably. Uh, I mean, it doesn't smell like rotting asshole or anything. It just smells kind of weird, like slightly spoiled milk. I don't know. Whatever. I'm just doing it. It's probably not enough. Not, uh, it's not enough to do anything anyway. It's fine. I got guts of steel, baby. Mm. Mm. I don't give a fuck. Mm. If God doesn't want me to ingest questionable food items, then he wouldn't have granted me with an awesome immune system. I am God's own favorite little trash baby. Yeehaw. Isn't that right, Satan? Satan's like, hell no. What do you know about fucking eating trash, you pussy? Yeah. Satan's a gnarly girl. Mm. Whoa, that's a lot of Kratom. Adds more. <laughs> Caught me. God damn it. Red-handed, buddy. Collagen is great for you. Yes, it is. I take it once a day. I don't always mix my Kratom. With collagen, just like, you know, just the one kind of my, my baseline Kratom dose in the evening if I'm, if I'm doing that. But if I'm not doing Kratom, I'll just like mix it up in my little shaker bottle. Yeah. With uh, a lot of times some like reishi mushroom or chaga and uh, cacao and whatever the fuck else cool shit I got laying around. It's healthy. That's how come I'm so strong and attractive. Because I take my vitamins. Mm-hmm. Among other things. Alright. I feel like I should dump this before I forget about this too and the cycle repeats. Make sure I'm not dumping it on any of my shit here. 
Noise. Okay, now I want the rest of that fucking cigarette. Now that sounds good. Hell yeah. All right, fuckers. What would you do, chat? Uh, what What do you think you would do if you were to celebrate Lupercalia? Uh-oh. What are your ideas? How do you think a person should celebrate uh, fucking ancient pre-Roman fertility rite? Give me your ideas so I can steal them. And then slabbers will do them for chaos and great win. If you were throwing a Lupercalia party, what would you have at it? Get hella stoned? I like that. That's great. Coming soon to the corn store. Lupercalia t-shirts. Oh shit, you made me say it. Damn it, that's gonna be a thing now. Fuck. Okay. Well, Captain just trapped me into making Lupercalia t-shirts, so uh, I guess that's gonna be a thing. Or at least stickers or something. Probably both. Fucker. Thwarted by my own captain. Whatever. I, I'm gonna, what, if you're the captain, then that makes me a commodore or something. They're at like a, at like a fleet. I don't know, dude, I'm not really a rankist, I'm an anarchist, so, I don't know. I don't think I outrank you here. No, I do, because this is my channel, actually, so, yeah. Hell yeah. My plan worked perfectly. You, this is why, this is why you're the captain, dude. You fucking know what's going on around here. Callie Girl says, dress skimpy. Yes, I like that. Very good. Um, I'm I'm definitely going to be encouraging people to make costumes, like animal, maybe slutty animal costumes. I think that would be kind of cool. I've already got my uh, Plague Doctor mask, so all I got to do is dress slutty during the day and put on my cloak during the night. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be Admiral. Nice. Yeah, I could be an Admiral. Um... I'm going to see about getting a hold of Dot because she wanted to help put together some costumes and shit and artsy things. I called you Commodore when you took on the position. Oh, thanks, dude. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. I spent the la like the better part of the last 15 some years blackout drunk. So sorry if I don't remember things that happened. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, presence in my own life is kind of a newly developed thing. So, um, there's that. I think Slutty Plague Doctor is a great look. Thanks, I knew you'd like that one. Here, I'll show you. It's cool. Yeah, definitely going to go for a uh, slutty, androgynous uh, Plague Doctor. Maybe get some fake blood. I do have a bunch of corn syrup. It could be like a... Uh, Oh, every time I put this on, I'm wearing this shirt, too. And this shirt looks really good with this. Um, yeah, this is actually a really nice outfit. I could wear some little booty shorts with this shirt. And uh, have, like, a bunch of fake blood on me and, like, a fucking bone saw or something. Yeah. That'd be cool. I like that. Ah! The thing on my hair. There we go. Yeah. Um, I know there's other weird costumes and people with crazy ass outfits out here, so we'll see what people come up with. It does look good. Thank you. Appreciate that. It's a nice look. <laughs> Make sure your friend with the goats keeps them safe during Lupercalia. Um, it's not my friend with the goats. Actually, oh yeah, somebody, uh, somebody out here does have goats, but those are like, I think they treat them more like pets. Um, so that's different. But yeah, livestock goats is one thing. They're meant for eating. There's there's places out here where you can go buy one. It's like, it's one to three hundred dollars. It's like one hundred dollars for a regular goat, two hundred for a big goat, and three hundred for a big ass fucking goat. Which, uh, I don't know, that'd be kind of cool. Bring back goat sacrifices as long as we're eating them and like slaughtering them and whatever because like the goats raised out here they're living free range like not free range that's a technical term for the industry but 
they're living actually free out like in the fields roaming around eating grass doing shit that regular ass animals do and need to do whereas when you buy those meat products from the store those animals live in warehouses and never see the light of day and aren't allowed to turn around and look at their children after they're born and uh, get beaten in the dark uh, their entire life and then brutally slaughtered. So, you know, I, I would definitely much rather eat fucking, uh, you know, Manuel's uh, goat from down the road. I'm just, I'm, I don't know, I assume, like, I'm just making up a random fucking name, but, like, there, there's a bunch of people that have livestock farms out here. So, like, I'd rather buy one of those and slaughter it myself than go and uh, pick up some, like, Tyson chicken from Walmart. Because I, I think that's so much more sacrosanct than, like... Or not sacrosanct. Um, what's the word? Uh, not sacrilegious, but, like, whatever. Uh, yeah, I guess it is sac... Like, it's uh, abhorrent. It's uh, disgusting. It's incorrect. Uh, the way that that um, in our modern society, how the industry treats livestock, all in the name of convenience and cheapness. You know, like cutting costs. But like the costs that they cut for you, the consumer, they cut a hundred times for themselves. So like. You know, it doesn't do you any favors to continue buying cheap, shitty meat either. Um, but yeah, that's my that's my rant. I'm more offended by uh, large-scale industry meat than I am of getting my hands a little dirty, dispatching an animal that grew up here locally and uh, enjoyed their life up until the point where it in encountered me. Um, and I, you know, when I do slaughter animals. I'm, I'm not putting them under undue stress. It's just like quick and quick and humane and painless as possible. Um, whereas in the industry, they're born suffering and they never know anything but suffering. And the end of their life is often the worst thing that they have experienced yet. So yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> that's my uh, animal industry rant just stopping in to say go vegan and we love you uh i'm not averse to vegan stuff i eat a lot of vegan food and replace a lot of meals with vegan options but i do eat meat but like i said um i'm kind of into humanely sourced meat or if i am eating meat that comes from like factory farming then it's reclaimed free or like uh yeah reclaimed like stolen or dumpster dived or something or um, acquired through like a food pantry something that I'm not paying for just found out I can't go either what week join my patreon hell yeah captain just posted the patreon link um, on Sunday there is a music video dropping for the titled uh the the film titled for the song ready to kill so you get a little sneak peek of our scene and get to hear my song which was recorded in an actual studio it's a home studio but a good studio and it's uh the sound quality is great so i think you'll enjoy it uh and i'm excited to share that with you Oh, oh yeah, I was supposed to plug my phone back in. But also, we're getting to the top of the hour here. So uh, I think it's a good good time to start wrapping up here. I just wanted to show you all the fucking sky again because it's gorgeous out. And uh, we like this cigarette. Oh. I think that one's dead. Oops, there we go. Yeah, it's nice out. Trying to turn this around. There we go. Look at that. A beacon of light shining upon yon cesspool. 
like a sign from ancient gods. Wow, look at that, all that rain just skirting around our part of the desert. That's all rain over there. Going in these little patches. I'm gonna go up across there. And there's more coming in, holy shit, look at that. That's all rain. That's all rain. Damn, that shit might hit us. And uh, the fact that it's so dark over there, it's all dark over like Anza Barrigo and shit. Look at that. Yeah, we might get hit tonight. I'm gonna have to look at the Doppler. Probably, well, it looks like it wasn't gonna be much, but now that I'm looking at it with my eyeballs, that's, uh, that's some real rain. It might keep skirting past us though and going over that way. Guess we'll see. Yep, guess we'll see. Satan, are you a good girl? What are you doing? What are you doing? Do you want another treat, pup? Mm-hmm. You want another treat? All right, let's get you another treat. All right, anyway, come on out to Lupercalia Party Grounds. We're already piling up some wood. And got my shit out here. Come buy my stuff. Got a bunch of cool stuff. I got a fuck ton of tattoo needles, too, like in piercing stuff. Hey, Satan, come here. Let's get you a little treat. Let's get you one of these guys now. Aaron, I'm sorry uh, about whatever's going on. I'll uh, I'll catch up with you in the chat about it. And if uh, if folks in here are not part of the Discord server, y'all should think about joining. It's a lot of fun. Do you want this pup? Hey, wait, 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 wait. Do you want that? Do you want this? Nope. Wait. Do you want this? Yes. Okay. There you go. Crunch, 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 crunch. Crunch, 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 crunch. That's a happy dog. You need Lupercalia art on those towers. I agree, dude. I really do. All right. Well, yeah, join us in the Discord server if you want to throw down to the party and community in general here. Um, there's links in the description. Uh, yeah. And uh, thanks for joining me so much. I really appreciate y'all being here. I'm going to be doing a live stream probably every day this... Uh, probably every day this week. So that uh, I can kind of keep focused and keep keep trying to bring more content to, this, to the channel and shit. Um, anyway... I'll see y'all later. I hope that you have a absolutely fantastic weekend. And uh, I'll probably talk to you tomorrow. Okay, take care. Be safe. Have fun. Bye.